Again, why South Carolina? What are these reasons? Uh, well, uh, it was one close to home. It was a quality SEC school and uh, winning it, one of the top ones in that conference. And uh, I just like what the coaches bring to the table, especially uh, Coach Elliott. And um, just the academic program there, too. I like it. Talk about Coach Elliott a little bit. I remember the first time I talked to you, Clemson actually held the edge. That was, he was probably a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, how did he do it? How did he overcome that? Well, like I said, I like his way of coaching. He's an um, energetic coach that's going to get his point across, and uh, he's going to push you to be the best you can be. The attention, are you kind of glad this is over? I mean, there will be no visits, no, this is concrete, this is it? Oh, yes, sir. i can glad I got it out of the way because I can focus on my senior year now the rest of the uh, football season, basketball season, and baseball. And, yeah, so you won't enroll early. You're going to play basketball and baseball. Yes, sir. Talk about playing with uh, the Dillon boys. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it's something I, I'm already used to. Like I said, we play rec ball probably about a good what, 12 years together in football before I came over here, and uh, I'm just looking forward to being with them again. What was kind of the tipping point? You said you committed over, about a month ago. Was there something that kind of sent you over the edge specifically? But after the Black Magic Camp, uh, that's what really stood out for me. And uh, Coach Elliott, he worked me hard, and uh, he showed me everything South Carolina had offered. And uh, I just loved that place. Your mom was on that visit, right? Yes, sir. Is that the only visit she took? Yes, sir. Was she the big, big part in this as well? Well, she uh, she always told me wherever I go, she'll be happy for me. But uh, she she just don't like to travel, and uh, she's working a lot. So uh, when she came there, she loved it too. And uh, me, her, my brother, and my uncle, we talked probably from Columbia to Latta, and I knew South Carolina was place. I gotta ask you, defense. Really, is that really a possibility? I could be if they want me to play it. I could. I Have could they play. mentioned that to you, or is that just come out? Well, uh, it, came, it came out, but uh, a lot of other schools mentioned about it. But uh, if they need me for defense, I play defense too. Guard or tackle? Do you, I know you're um, being at practice the other day. You do a lot of pulling, and it's something uh, guards do. So uh, that's not either way. I mean, you have preference that way. I'm prepared to do a, do both any of them. So uh, if a guard's position I have to play, I just have to sit up and play it. What's what, the best thing? Oh, you know, what have you noticed about South Carolina's offensive line play this year? Well, uh, they're not as strong as they were last year, but I know it's uh, always room for improvement. And I'll coach Elliott and get them, get on them and everything. And uh, when I get up there, hopefully I can help them out the best way I can. Did Bryce or DJ talk to you much during this process, or did you talk to them? Well, every time I went up there, I pretty much seen them. And, uh, and we always shook hands and uh, said hello to each other. And uh, before they actually went up there, they always pressured me to go to South Carolina. Do you plan on playing baseball in South Carolina? Uh, uh, I think I'll try out for the team. If I don't get much play, i just stick to football. What position are you going to try to play? First base. First base. Have you talked to Coach Holbrook at all? No, sir. It, what, what are your goals for the rest of the high school season? Uh, hopefully win the region in all three sports and uh, maybe win some state championships there too. And I know we got to keep working hard to get better, sitting in the weight room, but uh, it's not going to come easy, so we'll keep working it happen. Is there anything that you're trying to improve on in your game specifically over the last few games of the season and before you, you know, come to school? Yes, sir. It's always room for improvement if you want to be a great player. And uh, that's why I'm glad I got the coaches I do with Coach Cribb and Coach Travis. Uh, they always they know a lot about defense and offense, so uh, they're going to uh, keep coaching us hard and uh, keep getting us better. Coach was telling me about uh, how athletic you are for your size. He told me about you know working working with what you got to move around. Uh, how, how you feel about uh, your athletic abilities at this point, and, and what might change as you uh, get to college strength and conditioning? Well, uh, that's what I'm trying to prepare for. That I know it's going to be uh, way intense than it is now. And I got Coach Travis to show me he played college ball. He actually played for South Carolina a lot too. And uh, I'm just keep. Keep, keep myself in shape, keep working hard. And I know basketball season, when that comes around, I tend to lose about 20 pounds. So uh, just keep it all in muscle tone and I'll just stay in shape. I should be ready. What did you learn the most about this process, this whole thing, these last couple of years? Well, uh, I just learned that no matter where you come from, you can always get with that. If you keep God first and uh, just stay humble, uh, yeah, it's going to come. Off it's going to come. Thank you. Thanks, man. Congratulations.